the sun. Any other schools?
at a maximum of 1.5 degrees before 2030. I mean, it's have a duty to take action, but they don't because they got self-interest stuck in their brain. So it's up to us, the people, to make a change and rearrange the frame and stop playing the game. Fuck the strong and survive and never finish politics. We take it action, yeah, we take it action. Up with trees, down with capitalism. That's the message and the lesson. We all connect it, even though we neglect it, even though we neglect it. Mother Earth is crying, but we numb to the pain, so we do nothing, so we do nothing. Damn, so reluctant. I'm just trying to start a movement that connects all movements for positive change, for positive change. Alright, let me just center myself. Alright, look. Capitalism is the enemy of nature. It's destroying our ability to live in the future. Nurture bad ego individually. Expenditure of freedom collectively. Always competing socially, economically, without regard for a habitat globally. But wait, this economic system is a product, something deeply rooted in our culture. Relations on this earth that we have nurtured since 2000 BC, based on hierarchy, giving birth to the reality we see, the collective human dream. Capitalism is the largest religious empire that history's ever seen. A line of lineage from the first emperor, Seraphon, raging bloody wars in the Middle East. Mesopotamia still under siege, now by empires from overseas. Capitalist, positivist, philosophy, reducing the world to a material, physical perspective. Consume everything the human eye can perceive. Up with trees, down with capitalism. That's the message and the lesson. We all connected, even though we neglect it, even though we neglect it. Mother Earth is crying, but we numb to the pain, so we do nothing, so we do nothing. Damn, so reluctant. I'm just trying to start a movement that connects all movements for positive change, for positive change. And we're saying, no more Flint economics, no more standing rock economics, no more Reaganomics, no more Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya imperialisms, no more Venezuela propagandas, no more, no more neoliberalism, no more anti-democracy, anti-economy capitalism. Grito Libertad, liberating Gaia, the goddess of Mother Earth, for all its infinite worth. We mean liberating ourselves, we planting literal and metaphorical seeds from MRC across the Pacific and Atlantic Sea. The movement's color is green, an international social movement to change what we see from individualistic greed to collaborative community. We are awake because our great-grandchildren won't let us sleep. We, the indigo children, be aligning with the elder indigenous rebelling against extinctions for permanent global revolution, evolution, and liberation. Up with trees, down with capitalism. That's the message of the lesson. We all connected, even though we neglected, even though we neglected. Mother Earth is crying, but we numb to the pain, so we do nothing, so we do nothing, and so reluctant. I'm just trying to start a movement that connects all movements for positive change, for positive change. Para la madre tierra! Just a second 
My name is John, and I work right in that window right over there. So it wasn't a distant walk. Look, I'm not there. Are, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to stand here, even with this group, and tell you that climate change is the only issue. Racism is an issue. Sexism is an issue. Homophobia is an issue. Transphobia is an issue. Poverty is an issue, and fascism is an issue. But I will tell you that there is no issue more important than climate change. You know, um, a few years ago, a lot of things started changing in this world. And I'm not naming names, but the little progress, the little progress we had started to make stopped cold, and it started going backwards. Now, when things started changing a few years ago, I was telling one of my kids that I was sorry, that this had to be rough, that he's got to be worried. And he said back to me, I'm more worried about you because your generation has worked on this issue, has worked on other issues, and now you've hit a wall. And now it's starting to go backwards. And that must feel terrible. And he's right. He was right. He was 100% right. We screwed it up. Okay? Your turn. We've got your back. Let us know what to do when we're there. Okay, now I'm going to give it to Charlie. In this, uh, oh. Join us again in the land of the living. We have no time to dwell on the past and what we could have done better. We have no time to think about a future that we may not even have. But we still have a chance. We know we don't have long, but we still have a chance to turn this around. And I have, and I believe in every single one of us, seeing that everyone's here, and seeing that so many people believe in what we're doing, it's just, it's amazing. Thanks, thanks so, so much for everyone that's coming here. Hi, welcome. I'm so like proud and honored to be here with everybody and see 
just the complete unification of like in our little state of all of these wonderful young people here. I'm from Montpelier High School, represent. <laughs> and I, I just want to say that we all have like the power in our actions. Each person has power in every decision they make every day. You have the weight of the world in your hands, but together it becomes a little less. And here we are showing together that we believe, that we believe that we can make a difference, and you can. <laughs> it, comes, it comes in the power of the consumer. You, the, <laughs> the higher powers, they're just people. They're just single figureheads of all of us. And all of us together here with our signs and our words and everything are showing that we want to make change. And they have to listen. They can't not listen to us. We're the people. Like, come on, listen. <laughs> so I'm just so proud of all of you. And I hope that every day you think about the way that you can change the world and your little actions. And, and you think about this group of people here and all the people that have wanted to gather. And you, you hold that every day. Awesome. Woo! Climate change sucks! Let's go! Guys, we're going to go over our demands for this action and for, yeah. Mic check! Mic check! We demand! Comprehensive and immediate. Solutions to the climate crisis. Like the Green New Deal. That are rooted in the respect for and dignity of all people. Support for just policies. At every level of governance. Communities, our communities and transition rapidly, and transition rapidly to, a to a clean and renewable energy economy for all, for all. With, livable with livable wages and union jobs. And union we, demand we demand a commitment, a commitment to, keeping fuels to keeping fossil fuels in the ground. And no, new. and no new fossil fuel projects. Fossil fuel projects. We, demand we demand a just and inclusive movement, just and inclusive movement. that centers frontline communities, front communities most affected by our world, most affected by our world. Of, intersecting of intersecting and overlapping oppressions. We demand, we demand an, education an education that prepares us, that prepares us to, live to live cooperatively in the economic and climate future. speakers. school to protest what's going on in our world today. We deserve the right to be heard and and even if they don't want to hear us, we're going to make them. 
All right, one more speaker, and then we're going to wrap things up, I think. Hello, everybody. Hi. My name's Jeremy. Hi. In Washington, D.C., Trump don't care about climate. Yeah. We pitch him. Yeah. The Democrats down there, how's the Senate? We'll pitch him soon. Yeah. Thank you. I bring you greetings from an Eskimo who has been working on climate change for almost 50 years. He was a young one like you when he started. And he worked and worked and worked. He spoke at the UN. They clapped and cheered for him, but nobody did anything. He went home. His mother told him, son, what you need to do is learn to melt the ice in the heart so that people can change and use our knowledge wisely. Oh. oh! All right, so we're gonna have the last speaker and then we're gonna wrap things up with a song, yeah. All I wanted to say was that, can we please protect life, that there's no planet B after this world. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dio Kulkarni, and I'm an eighth grader at the Main Street Middle School. And so I'm going to sing a little song for you. Do you guys know this song? Yeah? OK. So OK, it's called More Waters Rising. There are more waters rising, this I know, this I know. There are more waters rising, this I know. There are more waters rising, they will find their way to me. There are more waters rising, this I know, this I know. More waters rising, this I know. There are more fires burning, this I know, this I know. There are more fires burning, this I know. There are more fires burning, they will find their way to me. There are more fires burning, this I know, this I know. There are more fires burning, this I know. There are more mountains falling, this I know, this I know. There are more fires, this I know. There are more mountains falling, they will find their way to me. There are more mountains falling, this I know, this I know. There are more mountains falling, this I know. I will wade through the waters, this I know, this I know. I will wade through the waters, this I know. I will wade through the waters, I, I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> wade through the waters, this I know. I will wade through the waters, this I know. <laughs> I know I will rebuild the mountains till 
Will they find their way to me? I will rebuild the mountains. This I know, this I know. I will rebuild the mountains. This I know. There are more waters rising, this I know, this I know. There are more waters rising, this I know. There are more waters rising, they will find their way to me. There are more waters rising, this I know, this I know. There are more waters rising, this I know. Thank <laughs> you. 